Welcome to how to set up and position the golf ball. This is the third video in a series of videos giving you my step-by-step -step process in how to play pro golf as an amateur. I'm the ice golfer, Mickey Steins, a retired professional ice hockey player turned scratch golfer. Let's get right into it. So far in the series, we've learned how to aim properly by understanding the word parallel left we learn how to grip the golf club and practice our grip. And today we're gonna to learn the last pre-shot fundamental before we start learning the golf swing. And that is how to set up and position the golf ball with both irons and driver. First thing we're gonna to do to learn how to set up is learning to hinge our hips properly. We're gonna start with this down the line view and there's two ways to do this. The first way is to replicate a Roman deadlift. I used to do these when I was playing hockey. Grab your club, you're standing nice and tall, and you're gonna drop the club towards the ground, hinging properly at your hips. So we'll do this again. We're gonna drop it straight down. To check it, you wanna make sure this club is right in the middle of your thigh. My belt line is almost at 45 degrees, and my back is completely straight. You can check that your back is straight by putting your club on your tailbone. It should hit the middle of your back and the back of your head. You can add a little softness in your knees. What we don't wanna do is squat towards the ball and you can see how my hips are a lot flatter here and our weight is towards the back of our heels. The second way is to take your club, you can put it behind your back underneath your bottom. You want your palms facing forward and you wanna stand nice and tall here you're gonna push the club out into the back of your legs while you're hinging at your hips. You can see that my belt buckles at 45 degrees here. My back is nice and straight. And there's a little bit of softness in my legs. Now looking on the face on view, our legs are gonna be separated about a shoulder length apart and our toes are gonna to be flared just slightly and that will reduce the stress on our knees while we're swinging. Our weight is going to be distributed on the balls of our feet, not on our toes, not on our heels, in a nice athletic position. Because our right arm is below our left arm when we grip the golf club, it causes our shoulders, our hips and knees to actually be open to the target. To counteract that, we need to give our upper body a tilt of about two to three degrees to the right. You should see that the club points down to your left heel. You should be able to touch the top of your right kneecap with your right hand. We're gonna be nice and square with our shoulders, our hips, and our knees, and we'll be parallel left to our target line. If you don't understand the term parallel left, make sure you check out our first video on how to aim. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Okay. Back to our video. The best way to have a consistent setup is to practice, and you're gonna need a full length mirror just like this. You wanna use this mirror to check your setup. You're gonna see the left arm is on top of your right arm, and you're gonna be able to see both knees, and you want some softness in this right arm. To make sure that it's the proper distance away from your body, it should be about a hand's length from your belt buckle, and you should be able to kind of swing your arm back and forth and grab the club. You shouldn't be reaching for the club or you shouldn't be bringing it underneath. You should also have a little bit of weight forward with that two to three degrees of tilt and your right leg should be at an angle. It shouldn't be at 90 degrees here. It should be at a little bit of an angle. You should be able to drop your club to the ground and you'll see that the grip is perfectly in line with my feet. It's not too far inside and it's not too far outside the grip should be lined up right with your toes. Now we're on to how to position the golf ball in our setup. So we're gonna start with our seven iron here, representing our iron clubs, and the ball is just going to be left of center. The orange line represents the middle of my stance. We have the ball just left of center, and we get into our proper setup here. If it is in the right place, the ball should be directly off of our left ear, you put it up to your ear, you drop it straight to the ground, and you can move that club right up to the ball. Next is the driver. It's a longer club, the ball's gonna be farther away from our stance. The ball should be directly inside our left heel of our lead foot, and to check that, we take our club and we put it up directly underneath our armpit. 
we drop that down to the ground, we move it straight out towards the ball, and boom, there it is in the perfect spot. The driver setup is exactly the same as the iron setup. All the difference is the ball is positioned underneath the left heel. Everything else is the same. Having the proper setup, aim, and grip are the three pre-shot fundamentals that are crucial to creating a consistent golf swing. If you're truly serious about improving your golf game, you need to start with these three basic fundamentals before you even take the club to the top of your backswing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned to the next video where we take these fundamentals to the golf course. You might see some scores under par too. Till next time. Standing the term, the light is not on. Yikes. Light's not on. That I'm able to consistently look at my setup and make sure I'm properly set up. That doesn't make any sense.